Hello Gemini! Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. If you have never been to my channel before, um, I'd like to welcome you. Um, and cross watchers as well. This very well could be your story. This very well could be Gemini. This will be good from uh, October 15th through the 31st. Um, time is fluent so you could see this even up to now until a few weeks after. We do have a Mercury going retrograde. Um, on Halloween, that starts in Scorpio, so that will be happening, that will be taking place. So this very well could linger on a little while longer as well. But, um, like I said, if this reading does, um, if this reading resonates with you, please comment. I'd like to hear what hap what's going on with you guys. Um, like, subscribe, share. Let me know what's going on with you guys. I will be saying Gemini cross watchers if um, um, this turns into love or if this is just a spirituality reading, which I'm seeing it's a big time spirituality reading, um, could turn into love here. But <clears throat> there's a lot of cards here that are showing a lot of illumination and um, cycles. and But there is a few things coming out at the end for the outcome. This is my very own spread. I do read all the cards in the upright. I did pull your base to save time. And I got an overall energy. And I was listening for you guys all day today, Gemini. I really was. Oh, one last thing. It's like a private reading. If you'd like to um, check out any of my psychic jewelry, healing jewelry, healing stones, necklaces, um, you can email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. Everything will be down in the description box. I also do energy clearings as well. I do have one this evening. Either way, I'm going to get your guys' reading going because I've been hearing things for you. Um, one of the scenarios that I've heard, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but one of the scenarios that I did hear was that you were going to be surprised because you thought... Um, you were going one way and all of a sudden, bang, the spirit's flipping, switching it up and you're actually going a different. And you're like, now how in the hell is that happening? <laughs> that, that's one thing. Like something's just going to um, come in and completely change your whole um, perception of a person, a place, a thing, um, so your job, your career, your love life. Like... Bang, you're so in love with somebody, and bang, the next day, you feel nothing. Stuff like that, like miraculous things, and you're not going to understand it. The energy is kind of crazy, and we are in um, having a lot of planets transiting through Scorpio now, so... But your planet is there. <laughs> Venus just went there as well. Either way, let's get started with your reading, um, Gemini. If I get any other messages, if I get any words of knowledge, I did have a headache earlier today. I don't know if any of you guys have been dealing with migraines, or where they start in your eye and your temple. Um, if that's happening, um, I ask Spirit to heal that right now in Jesus' name. For anybody who who is dealing with migraines, insomnia, give my gem. Gemini's good rest. <clears throat> now my throat chakra wants to close. Interesting. Either way, your um, recent past position, Gemini, you had, shocker, a judgment card with um, the Knight of Cups. This is a pretty slow moving night. This is um, a night of emotion. This fair, I looked at this. As the universe coming in with his with his horn and speaking something straight into your emotional spirit, your emotional body, possibly um, if you were hurt, this might have been a radical healing that you ended up um, and or it could be happening now as we speak. Like you've been asking to be healed for something, possibly maybe an emotional issue. Here it is. Also, this very well could be the universe waking up your emotional side. You are the twins. 
in your right now position, your logical side is also getting healed. Mm -hmm. Here's the King of Pentacles. You're thinking about your money and your stability in every way. And then here's the sign of Aquarius. Some of you very well could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. Heavy. It's the glow up tour, Gemini. And, I, and you're a part of it. Your future um, energy coming in is 2 8, eight and 8. Work. Making sure shit's balanced. Between your emotions and work. I think that this is what um, the universe is trying to do. Emotional balance. Work balance. You had the Prince of Cups here. And you had the King of Pentacles here. Pentacles? Cups. About finding a balance. Listening to the universe. Listening to your intuition. Maybe when it comes to a job. How you are going to proceed forward in your natural way that you would is in the, with the hanged man, which is um, another dual sign, kind of Pisces. Two major arcanas, right along with the hermit. You're allowing spirit to light the way. You're allowing spirit to show you any dark things that um, have been hidden in your life. You've been doing this work, Gemini. You're just kind of getting antsy, though, about just hanging here. You do enjoy the illumination, though. You do. But you're ready to um, cut that cord up here, I feel. Like you're getting antsy. Like you're ready to come into your um, next level. Your obstacle is the Hierophant. Higher spirituality, higher commitment. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is the guy who holds the keys to knowledge and tradition and um, there might be some things that you've always thought were correct that aren't correct. That might be some, um, you might be seeing some things over the World Wide Web too. Maybe you've been studying a lot about um, different cultures. Some of you might be even questioning marriage and traditional type of marriage. As well as some of you might be being called into the priesthood. Just saying. You might be ending this cycle of being mortal and coming into the immortality of your soul. And I think when this is the obstacle, when I think this is a revelation that's just going to switch everything up and you're like, I'm going in this direction and bam, you're going into another, like I got that word. And you realize how big this is. At first, you're like, yeah, let's get on that boat. Like, this is your advice is to venture, take the lead, take, take the step, move into calmer waters. It'll be calmer there than what you've been in. But will it? Like, I feel like your faith is kind of faltered a little bit. And the universe or um, people who have spoken into your life, all of that's flooding back to you. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't say this. You can't say that. You can't go here. You can't go there. You can't do that. You can't, can't, can't. No, bullshit. Universe is telling you, yeah, you wonder what? That might have been what people said. That might have even been curses people spoken over you. However, your destiny is this. And the reason why I know that this has been an destined is because you have the devil card at the bottom of the deck. You've been, um, this is a highly spiritual message, Gemini. You've been consistently, 
I don't want to say attacked, but your mind has been attacked your whole life. Even like your childhood might not have been so friggin' hot. Like there, there was no happy home anymore. Like all you knew was toxic, and that's not your fault. That's nobody. Everybody's like this. But I really feel like for my collective of Gemini, whoever I'm supposed to reach out with this reading to, this has been a major issue. You have actually had forces assigned to you. But you want to know what the universe did? They also released a force of angels behind you as well. Look at that. Sign of cancer. Emotional stability. Don't get caught up in your head. That cycle's over. Interesting. Your outcome. Real interesting. A balanced life. Six of Pentacles. I love the Six of Pentacles because it's not like two over here, one up here, three down here. No, it's all balanced on both sides. I'm a Libra rising, so I love balance. I, I always can... It's one thing I always notice if something's has more on one side and yeah. I like the balance. It's how universe deals out karma too. Here's an offer coming in. Something that you've probably been working really hard at. And here comes the Queen of Cups. Very well could be a cancer. And or you want to lie, this might be projects you've been thinking about since cancer season. This might have something to do with the lunar eclipse, or the, the solar and lunar eclipse cancer season. This is an idea that you've got. Possibly. Very well could be on a the working front. And then here's Queen of Wands. Here's Leo Sagittarius. So you very well could have either an earth sign, water sign, or fire sign coming in to give you some assistance, Gemini. Here's Leo Sagittarius. The queens are definitely um, cardinal energy. Very well could be um, Princess Virgo, Hermit's Virgo, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus is here a lot. Aquarius is here as well. This is the only Aries card that's out. Fiery, passionate. She's got it all. Even a black cat. All right, let's clarify this, Spirit. I'm going to use the after tarot. Hang on, guys. Sure. Okay. Sorry if I don't seem like more. I'm just chill tonight. I was chill last night, too. I do have a quarter move tonight, but I'm just chill. Like, there's not a fight in me right now. Like, I'm just chill. And usually I'm like, ah! what's going on? There might be some things you have to leave behind. There might be what you're fighting about, like within yourself. I don't think that you're necessarily fighting with other people. That's not the jibes that I'm getting. I think that this is just a universal thing. And test, 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 and more test. Yeah, it's stuff that you've been putting out to the universe anyway. You've been asking for this. Oh, and a higher spirituality and higher commitment, do you? You're about to get illuminated. There's the twins. Boom, two kids in that picture. Hmm. You're going to be trusted not to go this route. Magician in reverse. So you're aware. If that happens... You'll be held accountable. Then there's going to be tower moments. Like, you're held... Okay. You guys know what's up. You guys understand the universe very well. You know the difference between doing something out of love and doing something out of spite or hate or whatever. Ignorance is no longer... Um, you guys have been too illuminated 
at this point. You guys asked for this. So, ignorance and doing wrong or not walking in integrity is no longer going to be an excuse or an acceptable excuse to act a certain way. Not that you're better than anybody else or that you're better than it, but the universe has been um, very generous to all of us. And the gifts that, it, that were given to us, excuse me, were very precious. Like I said, I start talking about them and I just stutter because they're of such high value. They're of such high value that not everybody gets to embody the things that we have or that we are at this point. Yes, we did the work, but it could be, could have been anybody. But the universe chose the black sheep to heal. Interesting. The star and the king of pentacles. Healing your finances. The universe might be doing that right now. Or you're figuring out a way. Two of pentacles. Yeah, this, you're, this is a balancing act between healing and finances. And um, the material world and the esoteric world. This is a fine balancing act. You understand this. The rest of us are figuring it out too. And I was always like, how in the heck do certain people, can they just get up and go to work? And like, I'm constantly like getting downloads and I, I get headaches and I, it's a fine balancing act. That's why. I was constantly listening to spirit too. Like realizing things weren't balanced in my life. And I'm like, how in the heck? So I'd be you guys as well. And then the universe is like, you want to know what? Start getting your emotions in order. You start getting your money in order. Guess what? Everything else kind of starts to fall in line then. And then you're know, prepared to move forward. Alright. Eight of Cups with the Eight of Double Eights. Eight of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. Working. Balancing out emotions. Two came out. Okay. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Three in the chariot. Your future position, Gemini. You have the chariot in reverse. I think that um, you're taking a pause. I think that you're taking up a pause. Some of you might be finding out you're pregnant and it might not be what you want. But you might be getting um, stuck in certain areas where the universe is like, alright, we have to work on this. You can move through this these stages quickly. And this could be why the advice is here with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Because this is the future energy coming in. And you're going to allow the universe to do this. And the obstacle is actually stepping into your power. As the Empress. Like, I still think that you have um, a complex that you're not good enough. Or you're feeling like, um, I'm you not realizing your inner like you, you do but you don't okay the hermit with the hanged man king of cups this is how you're moving forward emotionally stable and you're overflowing unless this king of cups is peeing himself and i doubt that but <laughs> no he's overflowing with um it's all water around him He's got two cups in his hand, and it's flowing from the cup from this from the universe over to this one, and it's just leaking out everywhere. Please make sure that your art field has um, is sealed well. Either that, or you're just so emotionally ready 
or you feel that way, and then the universe drops this bomb showing you with the Hierophant in the world card, your whole life could be switching up. And then here's the Six of Pentacles. This is that um, equal give and take. It's also in the outcome here in the upright. But right here, this is the obstacle. Is the balancing act. I look at this as the balancing act. As you see, he does have scales in his hands. We, Interesting, this is like a card of Libra. He has scales in his hands. Right here's two keys in the Hierophant. It's keys to the 3 and the 5D. With the world card, you might have to put your old life away. And whatever plans you've made, know that um, it will worldly plans. You might be like, oh shit. I'm going to move away from that. It's not for my highest good. Yeah, here's the Nine of Pentacles. With the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. There's another Eight. There, you got Trip Eights here. And then you have the Six of Swords in Reverse over top of this. You want to go, but you don't want to go. Oops, she's in the upright. Like, financially, you'd be okay. But I think you're, um... You have a little bit of fear here. You do. You have a little bit of fear here, and you're just not quite positive that it's the right thing to do. You've done all this work. You're just going to, don't sit here spinning your wheels, stuck. My God, if you're the Empress, freaking go for it. This is your advice. You can pause. I suggest that this talk to God about, talk to the universe about, talk to and say, look, for your highest good and your highest purpose, I go forward. If it's not for your highest good and highest purpose, and it's going to be detrimental, keep me still. That's a test, I think. I'm just going to bring in balance. This is the outcome. And then that offer is really going to come in. And you very well could have two offers. Very well could be love coming in. And or um, business. With a possible Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Prince of Pentacles. Holding it out like, please take my pentacle. And this is what you've been working on. The six plus the one is seven. Emotional stability. And passion is built. Passion. Moving forward quickly then. You're going to see everything go. Alright, spirit. Why is the six of pentacles, the prince of pentacles, queen of cups, and the queen of wands here, universe? Yeah, here's a new start. Here's that pentacle he's holding. With luck attached to it. These bugs are, are um, actually lucky charms. So not only are you getting a new start, but it, it's a lucky new start. Alright, what's the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands here? Why are they here? Is this a new start with move to? Universe? This is the Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. The world. A new cycle begins. With a possible fixed sign, Leo. Scorpio is both in this. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The world beginning. This very well could end the cycle here, too. This is a gift. This is a gift. Oh my god, yeah. It's a real gift. Here's a hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Yep, now you got the book. And it's opened, and you got people actually, this very well, you could be moving into teachers, students. Yeah. Because this person is standing in this power. This person actually has um, students under him. Teacher mode. Step into your new life. 
Gemini. I love you guys. You guys take care. If this reading resonates, please uh, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you need a private reading, email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. If you'd like to donate, everything will be down in the description box. Love you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful October. Bye-bye.